Hello. I was just driving around voting, and stopped by to vote here too. I see you have some people on your voter list that are not checked off yet. I think I may be one of them. What is your name? Let me see. I knew it a minute ago. How about that third one from the top? Mary Baker Eddy? Oh, maybe not that one. How about another one? Let me see. How about Franklin Pierce? That sounds better. I think I may be Franklin Pierce. What is your address? Let me think. That's a tough one. Could you give me a hint? Is it 52 South Main Street? That sounds about right. And what party do you belong to? Let me see now. Maybe I'm a Republican? It says here that you are a Democrat. Yes. Yes. That is correct. I think I may be a Democrat. And could you please check there, to see if I am dead? I have no way of telling if you are dead. Besides, this is New Hampshire. We have a motto, live free, die, and vote after you are dead. So get a ballot and go vote. Should I show you my identification? I am forbidden by state law, to ask for identification. We take pride, that anybody who shows up can vote. That name is on our list, so anyone claiming to be Franklin Pierce can vote. But what if I am not Franklin Pierce, and came here from another state to vote? Do you think we are morons? Do you think our legislature would say, that people do not have to show any identification, if there was a problem with voter fraud? In New Hampshire, we take pride in our elections. You do not mess with New Hampshire. What if I pretend to be Richard Jackson? who lives down the street from me, and vote for him before he gets here? He has to work a little late today. What happens when he shows up later to vote? There is no problem. We will have checked him off the list. So he will not get to vote again, and I will have him arrested, for trying to vote twice. But he can show you his identification, and prove that he is the real Richard Jackson. That does not prove, that he did not vote before. We would not have looked at the identification before. And are we supposed to remember the faces of everybody that votes? As far as we are concerned, the real Richard Jackson voted the first time, and the real Richard Jackson is trying to vote again. That sucker is going to jail for voter fraud. We do not put up with voter fraud. But he is innocent. But he cannot prove he's innocent, and that is what counts. So if Richard Jackson does not want to go to jail, he better not show up to vote, after somebody else has already voted for him. Then if someone wants to cheat, and vote in place of somebody else, even a dead person, that is okay with you? That is not my problem. I am following the law. And we do not discriminate against dead people. Then how can anybody, trust the elections in this state? Do you think we are morons? We are very confident about how we run elections in New Hampshire. There is no voter fraud here. You do not mess with New Hampshire. If you have your voter list, they're on the desk for everybody to see and read. And you assume that the first person who comes in saying he is Franklin Pierce, is actually Franklin Pierce. And you don't check for identification. How could you know, if the real Franklin Pierce voted? Especially if the real Franklin Pierce, is dead. Do you think we are morons? You do not mess with New Hampshire. Now look, just get a damn ballot and vote, before I kick my foot up your ass. Okay then. I see you have some other people, who have not voted yet. Yes. There are lots of people who have not voted yet. Will you be open a while? I have some friends from Boston, and Canada, who might like to vote. I can give them a call. We will be here all day. Live free, die, and vote after you are dead. Now go vote. Hello. I am here to vote. I am Franklin Pierce. I live at 52 South Main Street.